Allstate Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. It was a pretty nice day, although you noticed during the afternoon we started seeing those clouds starting to bubble up a little bit. There's a weak front coming through, but look at the numbers. 70s? This is more like September weather, and it's going to get even cooler tonight and tomorrow and tomorrow night. But uh, first of all, we do have a front, like I said, and there are a few showers with that front. You see what's happening? You see the swirl in the cloud pattern? That's the storm that brought us all the rain the other night. Well, there's a weak disturbance, kind of like a, a spoke on the wheel moving a, around that. And that's what's causing a little bit of the shower activity. You see how the clouds really bubbled up, but clearing right behind that. I think we'll clear out pretty quickly over the next few hours. But in the meantime, there are a few wet spots to speak of. Uh, a little bit of light showers around York, and you see them kind of scooting up into parts of Berks County, particularly in northern parts of Lancaster County, uh, heading up toward to, uh, toward the uh, 501 between Salunga and Lidditz and Mannheim. A, a nice moderate shower. I haven't had any lightning strikes there, but it wouldn't shock me if we did. And you get up uh, toward Sealing, uh, Shillington and up toward Reading, another little shower. But uh, again, not much in the way of precipitation out there. Here's our effort of sky cam right now. Eh, some of those low gray clouds, but I do think they're going to clear out pretty quickly. So, as we go through the evening from Denver, Lancaster County, an isolated shower next, uh, let's say, hour and a half, maybe two. Clearing skies after that for the rest of the evening, and we'll be getting out of the 70s and into the 60s. Should be a pretty nice one. A little cool, though, tonight. Uh, we'll be down to the lower 50s. Wouldn't surprise me if a 40 or two show up. In, in some of the countryside. Then a sunny start tomorrow, and then we just get those white clouds puffing up in the afternoon. But a beautiful day, comfortable, fine Friday, as I'd like to say, 70s there for tomorrow. Weather in your health, pollen count is on the high side. The ragweed starting to make a little bit of a comeback. Now, eight on the UV index, so burn time about 20 minutes for tomorrow afternoon. So, 70s, comfortable for tomorrow. Looks like a beautiful day. Warms up a little more as we head into Saturday. But again, another very nice day. Not going to be very humid. Does start getting stickier, so yeah, I got to mention some showers and thunderstorms around Sunday. Not a washout the way it looks right now, but there's a front coming in. And it appears now that this front is going to kind of stall nearby. A little disturbance is moving along it, going to keep it a little unsettled. I'm not saying it rains every day all the time, but I do think there's a chance almost every day next week of some showers and we'll try and pinpoint as we get a little closer out there. Our kids artist Sophie Schlinkman from uh, Highland Elementary School. She was a kindergartner there from uh, earlier this year and it looks like a few rain clouds there in the picture. Sophie, I do think there are a few. In fact, right near Ephrata right now, but not that quite that many. Congratulations to Jody Dearloff from Lancaster. Jody is the weather watcher umbrella winner for tonight.